Richard I, also known as Richard the Fearless, was the Duke of Normandy from 942 to 996. Dudo of Saint Quentin, whom Richard commissioned to write the De Moribus A Actus Primorum Normanii Ducum, called him a dux. But this use of the word may have been in the context of Richard's renowned leadership in war, and not as a reference to a title of nobility. Richard either introduced feudalism into Normandy, or he greatly expanded it. By the end of his reign, most important Norman landholders held their lands in feudal tenure. Birth. Richard was born to William I Longsword, Princeps of Normandy, and Sprota. His mother was a Breton concubine captured in war and bound to William by a more Danico marriage. He was also the grandson of the famous Rollo. Richard was about 10 years old when his father was killed on 17 December 942. William was told of the birth of a son after the battle with Ruth and other Viking rebels. But his existence was kept secret until a few years later when William Longsword first met his son Richard. After kissing the boy and declaring him his heir, William sent Richard to be raised in Bayer. After William was killed, Sprota became the wife of Espelenk, a wealthy miller. Rodul for Ivory was their son and Richard's half-brother, Life. With the death of Richard's father in 942, King Louis IV of France seized the lands of the Duchy of Normandy. The king installed the boy Richard in his father's office and placed him in the custody of the Count of Ponthieu. He then split up the duchy, giving its lands in Lower Normandy to Hugh the Great. Louis IV thereafter kept Richard in solitary confinement at Laon, but the youth escaped from imprisonment with the assistance of Osmond de Centville, Bernard de Sonlis, Evo de Belsma, and Bernard the Dane. In 946, Richard agreed to commend himself to Hugh, the Count of Paris. At the age of 14, Richard allied himself with the Norman and Viking leaders in France, drove King Louis IV's army out of Rouen, and successfully took back Normandy from him by 947. In 962, Theobald I, Count of Blois, attempted a renewed invasion of Rouen, Richard's stronghold but his troops were summarily routed by Normans under Richard's command and forced to retreat before ever having crossed the Seine River. Lothair, the king of the West Franks, fearful that Richard's retaliation could destabilize a large part of West Francia, stepped in to prevent any further war between the two. Afterwards, and until his death in 996, Richard concentrated on Normandy itself, and participated less in Frankish politics and its petty wars. In lieu of building up the Norman Empire by expansion, he stabilized the realm and reunited the Normans, forging the reclaimed duchy of his father and grandfather into West France's most cohesive and formidable principality. Richard used marriage to build strong alliances. His marriage to Emma of Paris connected him directly to the House of Capet. His second wife, Gunora, from a rival Viking group in the Catentan, formed an alliance to that group, while her sisters formed the core group that were to provide loyal followers to him and his successors. His daughters forged valuable marriage alliances with powerful neighboring counts as well as to the King of England. Richard also built on his relationship with the church, restoring their lands and ensuring the great monasteries flourished in Normandy. His further reign was marked by an extended period of peace and tranquility. Marriages His first marriage was to Emma, daughter of Hugh, the Great, of France, and Hedwig von Saxon. They were betrothed when both were very young. She died after 19 March 968, with no issue. According to Robert of Torini, not long after Emma's death, Duke Richard went out hunting and stopped at the house of a local forester. He became enamored of the forester's wife, Seinfrieda, but she being a virtuous woman, suggested he court her unmarried sister, Gunnar, instead. Gunnar became his mistress, and her family rose to prominence. Her brother, Herophas de Crepon, may have been involved in a controversial heresy trial. Gunnar was, like Richard, a Viking descent, being a Dane by blood. 
Richard finally married her to legitimize their children. Richard II, the good Duke of Normandy. Robert, Archbishop of Rouen, Count of Evreux. Marga, Count of Corbeil. Emma of Normandy, wife of two kings of England. Maud of Normandy, wife of Otto II of Blois, Count of Blois, Champagne and Chartres. Hawise of Normandy M. Geoffrey I, Duke of Brittany. Papia of Normandy. William, Count of Eu, Auriel the wife of Folk Seigneur de Guernonville, Dean of Every Axe. Illegitimate children. Richard was known to have had several other mistresses and had children with many of them. Known children are Geoffrey, Count of Eu, William, Count of Eu, Les Ellen de Turqueville, Beatrice of Normandy, Abbess of Montvilliers d. 1034 meters, Ebla of Turenne. Possible children Muriella, married Tancred de Hawkeville, Fresende or Fred Esenda, second wife of Tancred de Hawkeville, Guimara, wife of Ansfried II, Ladane, Lagos, Vicomte d'Exmise de Falaise, mother of Robert Fitzwimark, death, Abbey of Montevilliers, Seine Inferior, Normandy, death. Richard died of natural causes in Fecamp, France, on 20 November 996. Depictions in Fiction The Little Duke, a Victorian juvenile novel by Charlotte Mary Young is a fictionalized account of Richard's boyhood and early struggles. Genealogy